So a crazy thing that you mentioned last night that kind of just blew me away. I think it touched everybody. Um, you talked about how that when we're approaching God to receive, and, and that a lot of us struggle receiving anyway because of right. distrust is so rampant. But when we approach God to receive, that we have relationship in mind. Um, tell us that part about Moses again, because that blew me away. Yeah. Where you were talking about um, Moses came to receive the law. He came up on the mount and to he get, came to receive the law. Right. And then uh, what happened? Well, see, when he went up on the mountain, you have to understand that Moses felt like we are just not even a real people. Mm -hmm. And the way we become a people is like the Egyptians have a code, the Chaldeans have a code, every nation of the world had mm -hmm. a code. Okay. We don't have an identity. So yeah. the law, the law and the covenant would give us a, a brand. Yeah. And that's the real word. It would brand us. Yeah. So uh, Moses said, give me the law. And God said, no. <laughs> and he waited 40 days. <laughs> and it says, after God made an end to communing with Moses, he mm -hmm. gave him the law. Because God is extremely relational. The Isn't whole, amazing? it's an aspect of the, the whole thing that God wants to relate to us. And uh, when people come and they say, well, I want to be healed. I want to be touched. That there is this feeling that the way you open the heart of God to move mm -hmm. is by humbling yourself in his presence and saying, I want to know you. Yeah. I just want to know you. Relationship. It is. I value you. I honor you. Right. And because of that, I mean, seriously, uh, I think God was using you because I felt a shift in the room last night. Yes. I felt a shift in the atmosphere even. And people, I mean, people received that. And there was a reverence. There was an honor. There was a humbling. Uh, I took it in. I'm like, you know, I needed that. I mean, I needed that. I, I took it in as well. And just, but it shifted the atmosphere. And I think it prepared the way for God to meet us with, with kindness and with gifts. Right. Because we changed our posture. Yeah. And, uh, the, you know, that the, the key verse for this one is in Psalm 37. He will withhold no good thing from them that walk uprightly. Uh -huh. So, uh, you know, David wrote that psalm at the end of his life after he had faced all the storms of his life. Mm -hmm. And it's beautiful because that's also the psalm that says, Once I was young, now I'm old, yeah. and never have I seen the righteous forsaken mm -hmm. or, or their children. Right. Yeah. And what David is saying is, let me tell you about your God. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you about your father his nature, mm -hmm. how he responds, what he's sensitive to, what he has an aversion to. Mm -hmm. And he says, if you walk uprightly, and I, I believe, what is that but a relationship? Mm -hmm. yeah. And yeah. what does the Lord require of thee, the prophet said, except yeah. to walk humbly with your God. Mm -hmm. And, and um, the first thing that when man fell, this is a heart-wrenching verse in Genesis, is... Uh, that the, the first thing God felt, the loss, was that he would walk with Adam in the cool of the evening. Mm -hmm. He would walk with him. Mm -hmm. And those walks ended. No. It was a, a devastating loss. It wasn't just a loss for Adam. It was a loss for Father. Yeah. Yeah. Devastating. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Well, this is part of, I believe, and I, I believe that we're on target. This is part of heaven meeting earth. This is part right. of heaven coming to earth. I was saying last night, and, and I'll say it again to our audience, that God is more concerned about getting heaven into your earth realm and getting heaven into your life than he is about getting you to heaven right now. He's got you here on purpose. Right. He's got uh, uh, something for you yet to fulfill. And, and part of that is going to be uh, lived out, walked out, identified, become clear as you commune with God. So thank you so much for being with us.